This is Brian Putt. Oftentimes, a discrete distribution with three points is used, and they can either be a equal area percentages, which are 25, 50, 25, or the Swanson's rule, which would be a 30, 40, 30. What I'd like to show you is that if we're talking about this equal area rules, we can easily convert that to a continuous distribution using a Myerson or a Metalog. So let's assume initially uh, a symmetrical distribution of 10, 20, 30, shown here by these orange lines. And then let's use those same inputs down here in a Myerson distribution. And what I've done is to use the same random number. In other words, this random number here is being utilized in this selection of the discrete distribution. I can then compare the Myerson distribution here with blue with the discrete distribution that is orange. And you can see I get an answer that's very, very close. Now one thing I have done here is I have constrained the Myerson to be only go between the first percentile and the 99th percentile. I've left off. And you can barely tell that there's a, a little step here and a little step here. You can't tell that. I can then turn it, turn it into a metal log using the 105090, using the same random number, because I don't want any uh, differences between these distributions because of the random number. And I have arbitrarily selected a P100 and a P0. Now you could, if you wanted to, I guess, convert this to an unconstrained, and you would get a slightly different answer, but it would have long tails in this case. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this to a non-symmetrical distribution by putting a 50 up here. And now we can see that we have a, a match here on the Myerson and the Metalog, and the discrete stay down here. So by using the continuous distribution, we can really better capture this upside here of the outcomes. And you can see that the EVs are approximately the same. Now what if I change this back to 30? Okay, and I made this a zero. And now once again, we can see we match pretty well between the Metalog and the Myerson. If I constrain this Myerson to the 1% and the 99. So a pretty easy change in your models to convert those discrete distributions to continuous distributions. Thanks for watching.